He lives within my amen. Hallelujah. He is risen. We today we just celebrate our resurrected Lord and Savior. Amen. Hallelujah. So today, as we approach God's word, if my technicians are ready and can keep the word up as we go, I also send it out to you in email format. So if I don't have your email, I can't send it to you. Amen. So I send it out an email so you can have it on your iPhone and iPad. I trust that when next you're swinging, you're not talking to your girlfriend or boyfriend. But you're looking at my notes. I trust you. Amen? Somebody said, that's a trust. Yeah. Who am I talking to? That's right. In some churches, you can't use a cell phone, iPhone, iPad. It's like, put that away. Here we say, take them out. And I trust you. Amen? So I send it to you, the sermon to you. Also, if you can't find it and in your email, you can go to my Facebook on Paul Hazel and right there you can hit it and then it will take you to the sermon. Amen? We have so many different ways to get the sermon. Amen? God is awesome. Amen? Let's bow our hearts as we pray. Amen. And we'll talk about the reason for Jesus' resurrection. Somebody say hallelujah. And so, Father, we just thank you as we come to celebrate the reason for Jesus' resurrection. Resurrection. We thank you, Father, that as we open our mouths, you're going to fill our mouths with your word. We thank you, Father, for all those who are gathered here to be taught and to learn more about you or just to reminisce about our risen Savior and what he has done for us, what he has purchased for us. Now, Father, we thank you for the two big angels and how come to assist us. Now, Father, we pray, God, in this atmosphere. And those who are watching us um, via streaming live on the iPhone, iPad, and the, in and the internet, iPad, we pray a blessing for them as we minister here. Holy Spirit, minister there. Somebody say, as we minister here. Holy Spirit, minister there in their homes, in their cars, on their job, in the Soviet um, Union, in Africa, in, in the, all over the world, in Pakistan, um, even in ISIS's den. You can send this word all over. People uh, in Berlin who are, who are hurting can tap into this word today and learn of a risen Savior. Because of a risen Savior, we're going to have to live in fear. And in the Belgium, we live in faith. Somebody say we live in faith. So now, Father, let your blood now be applied to our ears, our hearts, to our spirits, to our bodies. We're already taking the broken bread. So, Father, we declare healing. In this sanctuary, somebody say, I'm the healed, I am the whole, I am the in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah! So, today we're going to talk about 
a reason, the reason for Jesus' resurrection. One more time, we can talk about what? The reason for Jesus' resurrection. Turn to someone and say, there is a reason for Jesus' resurrection. Amen. And so we're going to look at um, John chapter 10 and verse 18. And the technologists work with me and read the scripture up. And so that we can see it until I go to the next scripture. Amen. Make it easy for the folks who are following. And it says in John 10 and verse 18, are we going to read it together? Let's read together what it says. Jesus said what? No man taketh it from me. Read it like you could see that it is resurrection morning. One more time, no? No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. Everybody said, this commandment... I receive of my father. I, I, and this is powerful stuff. First of all, I said, this is powerful stuff. Now, Jesus, he was saying that, that this commandment in John 10, 18, he was saying this commandment, one more time, said so this commandment have I received of my father. He was rehearsing, Jesus was rehearsing what he heard his father talking over him and about him. Somebody say hello to him. So first up on this resurrection morning, we must rehearse what God is saying about us. Somebody say, how about that? That's somebody's had rehearse. The Bible is filled with stuff that we should rehearse. He said, this is what my father is speaking about me. Somebody say, how about that? And the father is also speaking this about us. And he says, absent from the body. I, I can't hear the church here. Somebody say, absent from the body, present with our God. Somebody say, how about it? He says, this commandment I receive of God, that if I lay my body down, I know that I have power, somebody say, within my body. This power you were speaking about is resurrection power. Oh, somebody say, how about it? Now also, you have within your body, God, don't you put your hand on your belly, come on, and say, no fear. So I said, I have within my body resurrection life. So I said, no grief is going to keep my body down. You see, when you are done fulfilling God's purpose for your life in the earth, you do not have to be afraid to leave to go with God. Somebody said, all right. You don't have to be on the bed of affliction, rocking and wreathing. I heard about a guy who was on the bed of affliction and uh, he was into some crazy stuff, into necromancy and what have you. But when the devil came for him, he was saying, more ice, more ice. So people had to leave the hospital and go home and crack up their ice machine. It's a true story. And when you ask about him, they say, he's asking for more ice. I don't want anybody leaving this uh, this uh, sermon on the sanctuary asking for more ice because they're slipping into the slippery slope of the fiery of hell. Oh, somebody say, hold on. God died. Jesus died so that he can put in place with inside of him the power of resurrection. Come on, somebody say, don't say Jesus died so he can place within you the power of resurrection. Somebody shout back to the preacher and say, the power of resurrection is inside of me. Somebody say, how about it? So in John 10, 18, let's read it together. He said, Sir. Jesus said, no man take my life away. It was that the Sanhedrin council. It, it was that pilot. It was that Herod. It was that the people who were spitting upon Jesus and beating up Jesus and saying, Hey, hey, King of the Jews, you call yourself the Son of God. Well, come off the cross. It was that those folks. Somebody said, How about that? Jesus said, I have the power to lay my life down and to take it up again. Oh, somebody said, How about that? No other man or religious leader has that power within themselves. Not even Krishna in the grave. Somebody say, aha. Buddha in the grave. Bahá'u'lláh in the grave. Muhammad. Oh, somebody say, aha. So you don't have to be afraid. Somebody say, you don't have to be afraid. They are in the grave. 
They are people just like us, but just uh, the Jesus we serve, he is divine. He has the power in him to resurrect himself. Somebody say, hold on. Oh, somebody say, power, power. And on this uh, resurrection morning, Jesus uh, lives on the inside of you uh, to resurrect uh, inside of you everything that's dying inside of you, everything that's going to a metamorphosis inside of you, everything that is uh, being cankerous on the inside of you, everything that the doctor says is the king on the inside of you, the resurrection power of God is inside of you today. Come on, somebody said the resurrection power of God is inside of me today. Uh, to release my healing. Put your hand on your belly and say, to release my to remove the out from the tomb to the womb. Somebody say hallelujah. One more time to move me from the tomb to the womb of Jesus where there is resurrection. Put your hands together so there's resurrection power in me. I'm not convinced, put your hands together and say, there is resurrection power inside of me. When the resurrection power is inside of you, you're getting rid of sickness. Somebody say, bye bye to sickness. Bye bye to diseases. Bye bye to infirmity. Bye bye to crooked ideas. Bye bye to ecobus and sucubus spirits. Bye bye to things that haunt you and torture you in your sleep and in your dreams. Somebody say, hallelujah. Because he experienced resurrection power, he released it unto you, so you too can experience resurrection power. Oh, lift your hands up and say, God, I thank you. Ah, come on, so lift your hands up and say, God, I thank you. And so we're looking at the reason for Jesus' resurrection in Matthew 28, 5 and 8. Matthew 28, 5 and 8, let's read together. And the, uh, the angel of the Lord encountered the women coming at the tomb. And it says, uh, it says what? And the angel answered and said unto the women. So I said, thank God for the women. Oh, the women, so I'm pulling, so we are pulling up the men. I can't hear the women. Come on, so we are pulling up the men. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, maybe Peter, James, and John, were wondering, I wonder what's happening. I wonder if Jesus really going to come back. But the women went to see. Somebody said, uh-huh. The women went to seek out the master to see if he is in the tomb. Somebody said, thank God for the women. And, they said, and the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not, you women, for I know that you came to seek Jesus, which was crucified. He says, he is not here, for he is what? Risen. As he said, come and see the place where the Lord lay. And he says, verse 7 says, and he said, go quickly. So I said, go quickly. And tell his disciples that he is, you got to read it with me, that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goes before you into Galilee. There shall you see him. Lo, I have told you. And he says, and they departed, what? Quickly from the sepulchre, which with fear and great joy. And then run to bring his disciples word. So I said, thank God for the angel encounter. The women who were curious to see if Jesus was really real. We thank God for these curious women. Somebody said, aha. They went back to the tomb and to the sepulchre because it was fear in the land and bedlam in the land. And they, they had the, the Roman soldiers died in the tomb. And they said, you got to put the seal on the tomb and the signet of Herod on the tomb and the signet of Pilate on the tomb. And we're going to fortify it. Somebody said, aha. And, every, and the folks who were thronging around Jesus, touching him, talking to him, eating with him, they could not be found. They defected. Somebody said, aha. They ran away. When, sometimes when the pressure gets hot, even Jesus had defectors. I'm not hearing you. Somebody said, aha. When folks start persecuting Christians, they start hiding. Somebody said, aha. But not these women. Somebody said, not these women. I want to hear some bass, but come on, men. Not these women. All right, now the women to close their mouth. These women were curious. And they said, are, are Roman soldiers a spear or no spear? God's down at the tomb. We are going to see if the words that Jesus spoke about is going to come or manifested. Somebody said, uh -huh. 
And while the women happy, women were going down. I believe they were going down in fear, but they were going singing. Somebody say hallelujah. I believe they were singing, going down to the tomb, and then the angels, the angels heard them singing, and then appeared and said, We're coming down here singing. Somebody say hallelujah. Beating a timbrel. Somebody say hallelujah. I just have a little shout my moment. Oh, I'm going down, my I think they were singing a good song. I just have a shout my moment. Let's shout back. Somebody walk in the one. Yeah, somebody say hallelujah. So these women went back singing. Somebody say, uh-huh. They went to see that what Jesus said, it will come to pass. Somebody say hallelujah. We thank God for these bold and brave women. Somebody say hallelujah. And then we have a woman in the house say, I'm bold. I'm brave. Some of you missed the train. One more time. Let me hear the women say, I'm bold. I'm brave. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. And there are still women who are going to see Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say, I am one of the men or women that's going to see Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. I want to see him. I, somebody say I want to see him. I, I, with his resurrection power. I want to touch him with his resurrection power. Somebody say I want to touch his resurrection power. And today you can touch his resurrection power. I can't hear the house up in here. Somebody say hallelujah. And so these bold women, when, when the town and the city was on lockdown, they said, we are going. Somebody said, hallelujah. And because they went, to, they encountered the angel who said, he is not here. Somebody said, the first witness is the angel testifying that our Jesus is not in the grave. Like Buddha, Muhammad, Krishna, he is not dead. Somebody shout that he is not dead. He is alive. Somebody said, hallelujah. And the angels heralded his resurrection. Somebody say hallelujah. And they say, Come see the tomb that the crucified one went into. Somebody say hallelujah. They crucified Jesus, placed him on the cross, spread his hands out towards heaven, put a nail in his right hand, his left hand, a spike in his feet. Somebody say hallelujah. He is his side, put a crown of thorns upon his head, blood gushed out from his head, his hands, and his feet. Just for you, somebody say hallelujah. And we know because without the shedding of his precious blood, there is no cleansing, touch your bellies, and no cleansing for call your name all rounds sin. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say, thank God I don't have to go on a cross. There's some crazy folks in the Philippines. They go on a cross and they dig themselves and nail themselves to a cross. But thank God I ain't going on the cross. I'm not bearing any pain for myself. Somebody say, uh -huh. somebody open your mouth and say, thank you, Jesus, for going on the cross for me. Oh, somebody say, hallelujah. Somebody say, thank God for these brave women. I said, come to the place where the crucified one, hallelujah, got resurrected from. And he said, go quickly. Verse 7 said, the angel said, go quickly. When you come into the kingdom of God, it's a quick word. Somebody said, hallelujah. Salvation is quick. Healing is quick. Going and tell is quick. Everybody shout quick. Uh, there are some people on slow motion, but God wants to accelerate you and bring you into quick. Somebody say, uh -huh. when you hear a word from heaven, heaven says, quick. Go quickly and uh, I don't want to die and I'm not on quick. Uh, somebody say, hallelujah. I want to be on heaven's quick clock. I want to be on heaven quick timing. Oh, somebody say, hallelujah. I don't want to die and have no impact. Uh, come on, somebody say, I don't want to die. And I'm moving like slow chore, our uh, slow Mary. I hope we have a Mary in the house. Uh, somebody said, uh -huh, watching us. Uh, but I want to be quick. Uh, somebody shout away to yourself and say, quick. The angels from heaven said that, that there is a momentum in heaven. And they came around the earth and they said, this is a quick movement. Somebody said, quick movement. Go and tell his disciples, hallelujah, that he is risen. And it says, and they departed quickly. Somebody said, uh -huh. I want some people to hear this word about this resurrection power. They hear it and they run with it quickly. If you got your own Bible, underline it quickly, quickly, quickly. What, what you do, you got to do it quickly. I can't hear the house over here. Prophesy to yourself and say, what? 
I come on, say what? God is instructing me to do. I got to do it quickly. Somebody shout quickly for you, Lord. Woo! Somebody say hallelujah. And they went. And as a matter of fact, that God, he hastened before them, went down the road of Amy and said, caught up with them and said all hail and when they recognized it was jesus they began grabbing at his feet he couldn't uh, imagine he was just walking and said my god i should never say it all hail but he just wanted to be with people somebody said hallelujah i said if you have an all hail moment with jesus somebody said hey, so I have an all hail moment with Jesus. It means that Jesus shows up in my midst, in my time, in my space. You grab onto it and you worship. Somebody say hallelujah. And Jesus could easily move. Because when the women saw uh, while the resurrection, the resurrected Savior, they held onto his feet and they began to what? Worship. Somebody say hallelujah. And women are still what? Worshiping. Men are still our, our young men are still, young ladies are still, that's Matthew 28, 7 and 8. And I said they worship him. Somebody say hallelujah. Lift your hands up and worship him. And so the resurrection exposes the false theory that Jesus was never resurrected because the angels suffered. Somebody said, aha. The women who were curious, who went down to the support of somebody said, hey, uh -huh. And this resurrection we talk about, Jesus was dead. His hands had in the holes. Right hand, somebody said holes. Left hand hole. His feet had in holes. Side holes. Head, all kind of prickles from the crown of thorns. Somebody say hallelujah. That's what the world gave him. Instead of a crown of gold, he wore a crown of thorns. Just for you. Somebody say hallelujah. He bore, he bore your pain. He bore bitterness. He bore rejection. Just for you. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. Ah, oh, yes, the resurrection. This resurrection speaks about that a recovery from sleep. Not a recovery from sickness. But this resurrection speaks of a recovery from death. Somebody say death. Dead man in the grave. Somebody say hallelujah. But remember he had the power within himself to resurrect himself. And the same power is in you too. Somebody say hallelujah. I tell you if you're on next bed and you haven't yet completed your life's work, you say hey, hey buddy, resurrect yourself. Oh, some of you are dreaming. Somebody say buddy, resurrect yourself. You have the ability to resurrect your body. I just say, I'm going home. You got a choice. Somebody say, uh-huh. So the reason for Jesus' resurrection, we have the evidence of his resurrection. The evidence of Jesus' resurrection is an empty tomb. Somebody say, empty tomb. With the clothing that he had on, wrapped neatly in a corner. Somebody say, uh-huh. So when the soldiers really saw it, <laughs> when just blasted out of it, they saw everything neatly wrapped together. And they attested that that's the clothing he had on. Somebody said, uh -huh. Somebody said, don't mess with Jesus. Ah, somebody said, don't mess with Jesus. Oh, he has power within himself. Somebody said, power. You gotta say it. You gotta say it to feel it. Come on, don't let the, the preacher get off. Somebody said, power. Somebody said, Jesus. And said, power. Had power within himself to resurrect. Come on, good. Resurrect himself. No grave can keep him down. I gotta hit somebody and preach with me. Somebody said, No grave. No rock. Build the best tomb. Build the best source of power. Can I preach this morning? It can't hold Jesus down. Ah, somebody put your hands together and say, Thank God for his resurrection. Oh, somebody said, Hallelujah. Mm. And so we have witnesses, the witness of the angel in Matthew 28 6. He says, He is not here, for he is what? Risen. As he said, Consider place where the Lord what? Really? Somebody say, Hallelujah. Then we have in Matthew 28 11 15. He says, Now when they were going, behold, some of the watch here, 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 this. This is the political fury. These are the politicians of the day. Somebody say, uh -huh. 
This is how the repetition of the dead is started the resurrection power of Jesus. Somebody say, Abba. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have verbal testimony of his resurrection. We have the witness of the gods who are guarding the tomb, who are guarding the sepulchre. Matthew 20, 11 to 50. Can you see it with me now? He says, now when they were going, I can't hear you, wake up, wake up. He says, what now? Now when they were going, behold, some of the watch came into the city and showed unto the chief priests all the things that were done. Verse 12, and when they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel, they gave large what? Sums of money to the soldiers. Saying in verse 13, saying, <clears throat> say you, his disciples what? Came by night and stole him away while we slept. And if this come to the governor's ear, I can hear you, we will what? Persuade him and secure you guys. 15. So they took the money and did as they were taught. And this saying is commonly reported among them. Somebody say, lie and lie. The little ones don't want to skip it. They say, house on fire. And this is, this is political upset, political underhandedness, political fury. Somebody say, uh -huh. oh, yeah. political backstabbing. Somebody say, uh-huh, political back saying, political backroom, shadangering and moving with money, passing on the that. Well, yeah, back in the first century, so in the 21st century. Somebody say, uh-huh. So the guy is number one. If you're a Roman guy and you are supposed to go in the booth and the guys are came and attack us, you dead, your mother dead, and your family dead. And everybody who associated with you, they're dead. Somebody said, mm hmm. So that's why he said, We're going to what? Secure your guys. You can tell this little shop, and we're going to. Somebody ain't with me, man. You're just easy to shop. Come on. Somebody said, Come on, what? Tell this little what? And we're going to secure you. Take this little money. Take this little bribe. Uh -huh. And let them know that, uh, you know, you fell asleep. And while you were sleeping, his disciples came and took him out. Somebody said, mm hmm. But the soldiers knew better. Come on, preach it. Listen, the soldiers knew. Because, listen, they saw angels showed up. There was a noise. Jesus didn't just come and go out east like that. There was some ballistic atomic movement. Somebody said, uh -huh. atoms and buttons and glory and angels. And, and, and the angel came on the road. Run over the stone. Somebody said, aha. Uh -huh. And here is Jesus uh, with a place in a different garment. Uh, Dressed in royal garb, somebody said, Hallelujah. Came fresh from hell. Who came from hell, the even smelling of smoke. I with the keys of hell. So I said, Hell, don't go to hell, death. Somebody said, Death and the grave. Oh, somebody said, Hallelujah. And they said, I knew the one who would put inside me. He was a little uh, emaciated and bloodied up, but the one that walked out. Look like glory. Somebody said, Look like glory. I can't hear you. Somebody said, Look like glory. Somebody said, Look like glory. Man, that will give you a heart attack. Somebody said, uh -huh. My God, and he put them with them guys to tremble. They fell down. We become the glory of God being manifested. Somebody said, Hallelujah. The power from another world came down by the tomb and said, Hey, we just came down. Just to see that the stuff that God gave to Jesus is working. We had to do nothing much. Just to come to see. Just in case. But we just came to see. But we, we looked at Jesus up already. When the angels came, Jesus. Uh, some of you are wide awake. But when Jesus came up. Oh yeah, Jesus. I, I get to give him a peace sign. It, it worked. Somebody said Jesus gave the angels the what? I'm up. That's my version. Somebody said, That's a new version. I'm up. It worked. The power that Jesus placed in me. Herod couldn't take it. Pilate couldn't take it. The Jews couldn't take it. The Romans couldn't take it. Somebody said, I made it. Somebody said, Hallelujah. 
And when I knew that it was time to just resurrect myself, come on, somebody said, How about it? Somebody said, When? Even when I'm dead, I knew that I had power in my mind. Only God told you this. It will mess your mind up. That I knew that I'm in the grave, and when I knew the time was right for me to resurrect myself, I said, Up oh, from the grave, Jesus. I feel God. I hope I'm able to finish this sermon. And Jesus came up, walking. Oh, somebody shout. I feel God. Somebody up, 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 up. This power is in you. Come on, somebody say, This power is in me. I can't hear the church. This power is in you. Who oh, to resurrect the dreams? Somebody say, Their dreams, their hopes. To resurrect the life and the, the doctors that cannot be healed. Somebody said, There is resurrection power. Woo! Somebody said, Hallelujah. To resurrect dead marriages. Come on, somebody said, Resurrection. So they can live again. Have romance again. Stop looking out the door, looking inside the door. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Somebody better scream until they raise. Resurrection power inside of me. Oh, you're dying spiritually today. Uh, you're a good candidate for the resurrection power to be alive and on the inside of you. You gotta sit with your mind the resurrection power. Be alive with me. One more time, touch your There's a resurrection power. Explode in me. Explode. Explode in me. Ah, somebody say hallelujah. And so politicians, match of 28. 11.15, politicians are politicians are politicians. Y'all going to sleep. It's in the Word of God, Matthew chapter 28. 11.50, politicians are, are politicians are politicians. The truth can be on the table, and they will take truth off the table, and put it on the table, and pay off everybody. So they can tell you a lie, and believe a lie. Somebody say, mm. Ah, yeah, yeah. That was happening in the first century. Still happening in the uh, 21st century. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, and tell them that you fell asleep. That was a travesty. Go, oh, take the money and run. I will cover you. The elders will cover you. When the governor says, bring them back. So I can take them out. Somebody said proof. Somebody look at the angels. We saw the disciples. We saw the women, hallelujah, were curious. And then we saw the soldiers. Somebody say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some appearances of the Lord. We call it in scripture, Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene, she was the worst of the worst. Somebody said, uh-huh. Nobody wanted to hang with her. Nobody wanted her in a house. Somebody said, uh-huh. This resurrection story surrounds a lot of women. Women and a few men, but more women than men. Somebody said, uh-huh. An angel, somebody said, uh-huh. Women pinch yourself and say, uh-huh. Today is my day of liberation. So what do you mean doing that thing? You know on your side. Somebody said, today is your day of liberation. Here is it. Hallelujah. Make me back the lead. She was the worst of the worst. This woman was deranged. This woman was filled with demons. She was uh, deranged. Somebody said, uh-huh. I believe that uh, the men and the women, the men, uh, not the women, but uh, at least the, the women by you. The men in her show at times uh, when she had a low moments with molester. Somebody said, uh -huh. I believe she, she, I believe she did babies. I was from a lady now in the Bible. <laughs> so somebody said, mm -hmm. I just want you to listen. <laughs> so somebody looks sleepy man. I believe some of the men in the, in the, in the land who couldn't talk and rap to another woman would grab her and impregnate her. So she had a gym, some Jim and Mary, Jim and John, babies, Carrie. Somebody said, I hear nobody talking to me. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, she was wrong. She was mistreated. Somebody said, uh -huh. But one day she heard, somebody said, one day. She heard of Jesus of Nazareth coming through town. Somebody said, Hallelujah. And he has power to open the eyes of a man. He has power to chase out demons. Somebody said, He still has that power. And this resurrection day, we speak to demons in this house, out the house, around the house, and we say, look, demons that are possessing God's people.
controlling that speaker. You are saved, but you have a possession upon you. The, the enemy is controlling you, and he's manipulating you. So on this resurrection, they want to come clean and come true. I can't hear the house of God. Mary Magdalene, she came clean. So, uh, everybody preach back to the preacher say, Mary Magdalene came up clean. She came true. She show up. You gotta show up to get your miracle. You can't hide to get your miracle. Okay, I'm talking to somebody. Today. People just want to come to church and hide. And every time you just see manifestation of demons and power of control upon them, save but manipulated by demons. Save but can't stop doing the things you used to do when you were in the world. Save but hide the hang one just by the edge of your toe or your toenail, save but just hanging on. Nobody preaching with me on this resurrection. So I said today, I'm a good candidate. Watch yourself, I preach you a preacher. Let's not look at me. I said today, there's an interaction stuff here. Preach to yourself. I said today, it's a good day for me to show up. Oh, I do self deliverance. Somebody says, self deliverance. You know yourself better than your husband or wife. You know yourself better than the pastor of which you have 265 days a week. You know you. Oh, I can hear the house up in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put your hands on. Tell her, Jesus, you know me. Come on, this is a, this is a prayer. Pray I can't say so. Everybody, everybody, put your hands up so we don't know who. So, Jesus, you know me. If I was somebody on the street, I Jesus. And this resurrection day. You know me. So Mary, you take your hand out of the boat. But Mary Magdalene had to show up to get her deliverance. Men, you gotta show up to get you up. Personal deliverance. Women, you gotta show up to get you up. And young ladies, you gotta show up to get you up. Personal men, you gotta young men, you gotta show up to get you up. Personal deliverance. Ah, oh, somebody say hallelujah. So Jesus of Nazareth, who drove demons and passed out the word of God says seven devils, seven big devils out of Mary Magdalene. Somebody said, uh -huh, seven. Seven. Somebody said seven. That was some kind of control. Seven speaks of perfection. Seven speaks of begotten. Seven says, she is perfect for us. Seven says she, Mary Magdalene, is a perfect one for us to possess and torment day and night. Somebody said, I am not perfect for you. I have been somebody to myself for self-deliverance. Say, demons and devils, I'm not the perfect one for you. That's self-deliverance. One more time, one more time. I feel it, I feel it. If you say, deliverance will come. Say, I am not. The perfect one for you. I am not the perfect body for you to possess. With these thoughts, with these dreams. Uh, I'm not the perfect one for you to take away my purity of heart and spirituality and my sexuality. I am not the one. I can't do it. So I say, I am not the one. I am not the one. Oh, somebody say, Helen. I am saved to experience it. The resurrection power of God. Somebody say, out of your own mouth and own time, say that I am saved to experience the resurrection power of God. Say, say, all by yourself, oh God, I thank you, I'm saved to experience the resurrection power of Jesus. Put your hands together and shout. Woo! You're not in the house. Ah, the deliverance is in the house. Somebody said, the deliverance is in the house. Well, Matthew 5, 69, let's read it now. He says, now when Jesus was risen early, the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had passed seven demons. Jesus likes to come back. He doesn't want to drive demons out of him. He just don't want to just save him, but he wants to come back to check you out. Can Jesus, at this 
resurrection morning come to check you back out from the demons it threw out to you are you still going back to the demons are you still going back today nobody preaching with me are you still going back today nobody's still preaching me are you still going back to the demons cast out somebody ain't preaching with a preacher right now are you still going back to the demons Y'all still ain't preaching with me. Are you still going back to the demons? He cast out. Fooey, fooey, fooey. When he cast them out, that's not the end. Somebody said, when he cast them out, that's not the end. You think you're going to talk to me. I don't even want you to close right now. You're going to talk to me. This is interaction time. Like the teacher and the preacher and the prophet. This is prophetic message. When you, when you encounter Jesus, and he do you over good, and he put grace in you, salvation in you, he comes back to check you out. To see if you are improving. To see if you are reading the word of God. If you are praying. If you are in good facts and studying nothing. Somebody say, uh-huh. So, uh, as, he, uh, as Jesus resurrected himself, he went to see somebody that he delivered while he was on earth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, somebody said, he came back to check her out. He said, this is a brand new Jesus. Coming with a brand new anointing. Some of you that so much demons and never you that the Jesus will come to visit you. Can he even give you nothing? Somebody said, uh-huh. But Jesus said, he's coming to give you something with that brand new anointing. Ah, somebody said, hallelujah. Brand new metamorphosis. Brand new experience. Jesus experienced it. He wants you to experience it. You lift your hands up and say, Jesus wants me to be experiencing it. One more time, say, Jesus wants me to experience what he experienced. He wants you so, today to experience his resurrection power. Somebody say, Hallelujah. He wants you to experience it. It's an absent from the body. What? Present. He wants you to experience glory. Somebody say, Glory. If we get up into glory, it's a whole nother level. Somebody say hallelujah. He wants us to release healing. He wants us to experience releasing virtue out of our lives. Somebody say hallelujah. To make people better. Somebody say hallelujah. So Jesus always comes to visit the lowly. Jesus always comes to visit those who are rejected. Those people who people say that was the woman that Jesus cast out seven. And the people in the community could count. You know, people could count. I, I can't hear you. They can count. Our sister, sister Mary, she been missing about a hundred Sundays. And she's not now making the most nights. Let her make some noise now. I can't hear you. Look, 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 Mary, not going to Look at that. The woman in the church service, the one with some demons. Look at that. She's making the most nights. But how she said Jesus. For how Jesus came first to see her. Look, look, look at that. <laughs> somebody said, uh-huh. somebody said, let them talk. But I, I, I want Jesus to come to see me. I can't hear. Somebody said, ah, what? Jesus to come see me. So when Jesus comes to see me, he said, I'm still in love with you, baby. Hey, 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 I can't hear, I can't hear. This is Jesus talk now. So when Jesus comes to see you a second time, and a second touch, he comes to say, I am still in love with you. Oh, so I lift your hands up and say, I want Jesus to come to see me, to talk to me and say, I am still in love with you. Oh, so I say, hallelujah. One more time, lift your hands up and say, I really want Jesus to come to see me. Because when he comes to see me, he's saying, I took you from the uttermost, the uttermost. I, I, drank, I drove up demons and devil. I just came by to see you. To impact some gifts and just to help you, just to say, I love you, just to see the condition of your spirit, your soul, and your body to see if it's still in order. Somebody worship, somebody worship, somebody worship. I feel that in the house. I feel that, I feel that, I feel that, I feel that. I feel miracles in the house. I feel miracles in the house. I feel the power of God in the house. I feel liberation in the house. I I feel people minds are being set free. I feel chains are falling. 
I feel demons are coming out of that people. Let that people go. Let that people go. Let that people go. Somebody do something. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Somebody do something. Let me go. Say, talk about sickness as a sickness. Let the doctor talk about. Let me go. Come on, come on. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Ah, oh, let me receive resurrection power in my life. One more time. So this sickness will not be called a second time. Somebody will stand and shout it. I feel I feel God. Stand and say, with this sickness. Some of you will move from where you are. If you're not on a road that shouts, move in the aisle, do something say this sickness. Will that come upon your body a second time, a third time? Resurrection power. Deal with it this morning. Resurrection power in Jesus. Deal with it. Oh, I feel God loose. They gotta say something. Oh, you are the same to a preacher. Oh, hallelujah. Say something. Say something. Talk to him. Talk to him. Oh, hallelujah. Say something. Say something. Say something. Men, you can say something. To say something for your family. Say Jesus. Oh, don't we want them saying something? Men, you can say something to See that standing say Jesus. Jesus. Maybe I've never shouted Jesus. Don't be one man standing saying Jesus. 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 Thank you for preserving my life. Say so Jesus. Thank you for preserving my life. Thank you for keeping me. Jesus and this resurrection day. I celebrate you. I hail you. Thank you for healing me. Somebody shout, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want some boys in the house. Come. Want to fight. Shiva, Lord, I want to fight. Shiva. Make some boys, make some boys. Jesus came up with boys. He came up with boys. Jesus came out with boys. St. Thomas needs to heal a church with some noise and this resurrection morning Jesus come down among us with some noise resurrection power noise so many churches but no noise so many churches but no glory so many churches but no manifestation 